Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as Bunny says. Um, thank you for joining me. We're back for another game of Sherlock Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper. Uh, let's resume. Uh, last thing I remember, I was trying to find out heard about some can or something like that. Or the, or the bottle, the broken bottle. I was trying to find out about Dr. Tumble T. He was some doctor that I talked to at the police station. And then I was trying to find out about the bottle. Uh, did I go to the... I was at the clinic. I went to the police station. They had a boarding house and only armor. <laughs> what do you want, doctor? Oh, Thank yeah, you oh yeah, I would, at your oh, yeah. service, sir. This is where I got the bottle in the first place. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, so... It's not the police station, the boarding house. Well, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me, I just had a sneeze there. Uh, the only place I haven't been is uh, Lucy's Lodging, so I guess I'm going there. <laughs> I guess I'd have to talk to somebody on the street. Where is her lodge? Oh. There she is. Lucy, do you oh, know anything it's about... you. I'm coming. Dr. Watson, how are you? Oh. Your uncle. How's your uncle doing? Well, and yourself? And how's your uncle? Well, he sleeps a lot, but it hasn't seemed to be suffering. Your medicine has worked wonders. Thank you again. It was the least I could do. Hmm. You know, perchance happen to some guy by the name of Leather Apron. I have come to see you about a certain Leather Apron. Have you heard of him? Oh, yes, of course. Terrible things are said about that man. Have you ever come across him? Goodness gracious, no. But I know that he has threatened and taken many girls in uh, my situation. I don't know what more I can say, but um, Bella would be able to tell you some. Be uh, Bella? Who is Bella? Bella Pullman. She's the landlady of the place where I... Uh, I could take you there if you like. Please do. Mm, please. Thank you very it's much. It's me. It's Lucy. This gentleman would like to speak to Bella. It's the doctor who helped me. I must leave to return to my uncle. Thanks again. Okay. So we're talking to Bella Poole here. Hey, my can... Oh, there we go. Ooh, okay. Don't like the look of this guy. Hello? Out of the way. I don't like the look of you. Okay, alright. I'm here to see... Bella Pool. Where is she? Presumably she's inside here. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a Bordello. <laughs> okay. If you'd be patient, Madam Bella will arrive in a moment. Oh, Madame Bella is actually a madam. <laughs> she actually is a madam. Good evening. I am Dr. Watson. It is young Lucy who told me to come see you. Ah, so you're the good Samaritan who saved her uncle without asking for anything in return. And now you've come to see me, no doubt, to explain that the poor little thing doesn't belong here and you will see to her future. Well, if you expect me to let her leave with you... <laughs> it's not that, ma'am. Uh, you should know I am a married man. And why should that matter? Well, well, it matters a lot where I come from. But other than that, I would like to uh, ask you some things. <laughs> I believe there has been a misunderstanding. The reason that Lucy sent me here is that you may be able to give me some information about Leather Apron. Are exactly. you a doctor or a constable? I am most certainly a doctor, but I am acting in this matter in a private capacity. And I would like to find this man. Well, if you're able to rid us of him, I'll give you a week's worth of free passes. That man is a thorn in our sides. 
He spies on the girls in the streets and watches them inside the houses, spying through the windows. And as soon as they're finished with a client, he jumps on them without any warning and forces them to give him their money. I've never seen him, but one of my girls was attacked by this man, and she said that he wore a leather apron and carried a knife. And his face, oh, he has a horrible head with rat's eyes and a deformed mouth. She even said that she knew his name, um, Pizer or Pizer, I think. But I don't know where she can be found. Margie Nutcracker, the girl I'm talking about, could tell you more, but I had to let her go last week. Oh, why so? Pizer, did not don't I know that name? Wasn't he in the last game? Where's Margie? Why did you let Margie go? The poor girl caught a shameful sickness, and the symptoms have attacked her face, if you know what I mean. So, so I gave her notice, and a little bit to help her along. I don't know where she is now, but she'll certainly be getting treatment at the clinic if she's still in the neighborhood. Did you speak to the police? Ah, what would they do? Who cares about the girls in the streets? Hmm. Would you have received a visit from another doctor, a stranger? by the name of Tumblety. I'm just like you, Doctor. Sworn to secrecy in my profession. But as I've taken a fancy to you, I can tell you that this name is not unknown to me. And if you do me a little favor, it is possible I might remember something about him. Hmm, okay. I understand. Any favor, I'm assuming... You don't need money, so I'm assuming you want an actual... <clears throat> uh, what kind of favor must I do for you? You see that man over there? He's a rich artist, a painter, a hmm. regular client around here. Well, yesterday, he came and left his cane in the umbrella stand in the hall before going into one of the rooms. Okay. But when he returned to this room, the cane had disappeared. It's ah. a cane with a massive silver knob. Must be worth a fortune. He threatened to call the police unless he got free services in my establishment for a year. I'll be forced to accept, unwillingly, of course, given the services that he's demanding, unless the cane is found. Hmm, I see. Did you question the residents regarding the theft? They didn't see anything, and there's not one of them that would risk stealing from a client here. Who was in the room when your weasel of a client was in the chambers? There were a few that came and went, but Mary could tell you better than I can, because she was the one at the counter yesterday. Okay. Mary, all right, let's talk to Mary then. Thank you, ma'am. No problem, my angel. Oh. <laughs> Okay, let's go talk to Mary. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Hello, Mary. What happened to this rug? Oh, it's when we got a call yesterday. I asked the young man to fill the pail. He came back to put it down, but his feet were covered in soot and he made a black print. Madame Bella said it was my fault and I got a shilling's penalty. I also have to clean the print and it's no picnic. He has immense feet, that boy. Really? Tell me more about this coal man. Who delivers the coal? It's never the same person. I've never seen that lad before. Okay. Is he around the same time as the I theft? I heard that or? there was a theft yesterday. Did you see anything? No, and I was here the old time. What about the coat stand? Do you always keep an eye on the coat stand? Oh, yes. Well... When the coal delivery came, a client came out of the chambers and stopped me from seeing the boy who brought the bucket of coal. You don't think he would have taken advantage? <laughs> Why wouldn't he? The client came out. Let, wait, let me say that again. Do you always keep an eye on the coat stand? Oh, yes. Well, when the coal delivery came, a client came out of the chambers and stopped me from seeing the boy who brought the bucket of coal. You don't think he would have taken advantage? Certainly. They could have been uh, done it together. Until next time, miss. With pleasure, sir. Okay. Thank you, ma'am, for the information. See Best not to stray off in that direction. Okay. What's this letter here on the floor? 
Best not to stray off in that direction. All right, let's talk to the madam again. Yes, Dr. Watson? Does she know anything about this? Uh, okay, I guess not. Thank you, ma'am. No problem, my angel. This call person, this call man. Best not to stray off in that direction. Okay, I guess we're going to talk to the artiste. Good evening, sir. Good evening, my dear man. I was led to believe that you're a doctor. None of the residents of this establishment are among my patients, sir. Oh, you're not here as a doctor, but as a man, then. Hmm. I understand. This is my kind of place, too. It's in these houses in Whitechapel that you find the girls that are the most natural and definitely the most docile. Your way of speaking about these women is not that of a gentleman, sir. That's right. Now, about your cane. I heard that you were the victim of a robbery here. Oh, I'm not complaining. The loss of that walking stick will certainly bring me a very pleasant compensation. So he's not going to help very much, is he? What does your cane look like? The stick is ebony, about 35 inches long. Okay. The round knob is made from chiseled silver with a ring around the middle of the same workmanship. Just like the tip for that matter. If you find it, don't tell a soul. Keep it for yourself. Got it? <laughs> okay. Well, goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Or until goodbye, next then, time. Sir. And good evening. <laughs> that latch. Okay. What These paintings painting are suggestive at the very least. Oh, okay. Let's, let's ignore that there and... Oh, wait. No, I, I left. Okay. No, I guess. She's in the cold after a lot of footprints, right? So, it's cold here. Cut well. Let me a look at this cold. large black footprint. Oh, really? Although, to be honest, I don't see anything. <laughs> Is there another black footprint here? Or going into one of these rooms, maybe? Hmm. Well, here. Let's wait a minute. Let me talk to this woman again. Yes, sir. Well, never mind. Until next time, miss. With pleasure, sir. Okay. The coal bin. Let's talk to the madam again. These paintings are okay. suggestive <laughs> at the very least. Okay. Yes, Dr. Watson? No, I guess not. She Thank doesn't you, know anything either. No problem, my angel. Could it be one of the rooms? Best not to stray off. Okay, they're not letting me in the rooms, right? Best not to stray off in that... Yeah, okay. Could the... It's the coat rack. Could the cane be hidden somewhere? Best not to stray off in that direction. Loosen your belt, my friend. You're in Whitechapel. These girls would die of hunger if we weren't here. Well, goodbye. Sir. Goodbye. Uh, or until next time. True. And good evening. <laughs> hmm. It's, I guess there's nowhere else to go except to go outside. I mean, that's. Let's see if there's something going on out here. What about that guy that was walking around? What do you know about this guy? Hey, I don't like the look of you. Hmm. 
Oh, well, maybe I can see more footprints. Oh, here we go. These were the black footprints. Or is that just the... Oh, it's just the ground. Is that it? Well, okay. I thought maybe... I thought this black thing here was supposed to be black footprint, but... Doesn't look like it. We have somewhere else to go now here? Hold on. Barble. Where's his lodgings? Clinic. Oh, what's her name? Said, oh, she said, what's her name? Was at the clinic. Oh, she, oh, her got her face fixed. Let's go to the clinic. Because she might know something. Right? Then... What can I do for you, my dear colleague? Uh, I have Margie? come to see you about one of your patients. Margie uh, goes by the nickname Nutcracker, who gets her prescription from the clinic. She's a lady of the night and is afflicted with a venereal disease. I know who you're talking about. Indeed, Margie has syphilis and is being treated with mercury. Do you have her address? No, Mercury. and for your information, she left London for good three days ago. She felt threatened. Really? Threatened? Margie felt threatened? But by who? I believe that Margie was particularly scared of a terrifying man who attacked her once. Did she say the name Pisa or Pytha? Unfortunately, she didn't give a name, but she described a man with shifty, rat-like eyes and a mouth twisted in a sinister grimace. Hmm. Did Margie have any idea where this man who terrified her so much might be found? No, but she told me that another girl who'd been attacked like her had told her that this man worked in a cobbler's run by an old Israeli. Also, she saw him again last week the night of the big fire. She told of going to see the fire like most everyone else in the area. While there, she recognised her attacker in the crowds gathered at the warehouses. There was no mistake in a face like that, she said. She kept an eye on the man the whole time the firemen were working in order to avoid him. Really? Okay, thank Goodbye, you for your information, Gibbons. sir. Until we meet again, my dear colleague. Anything I can do for these people here or on here? Okay, guess not. So, let's see here. This interview with the doctor revealed an important fact. Leather Apron could not be the Bucks Row murderer. According to Margie, the villain passed most of the night of the crime at the fire. He could not have been at the scene of the murder at the moment it was committed. He is nonetheless a dangerous character. Oh, okay. That's very true. I didn't even think about that. Okay, so let's go to... Um, the, what's his name? Oh, can't we go to the scene? Oh, we can't go to the scene. Uh, what's her name left? She said there was another girl. Let's go back to the brothel, I guess. Well, um... See if we can find out who this other girl is that got attacked. Go talk to the madam. Yes, Dr. Watson? Hello, my dear. Uh, Thank she you. doesn't know. No problem, my angel. Maybe she might know. Yes, sir. I guess she doesn't know Until either. next time, miss. With pleasure, sir. Okay, um, he's not going to be of help, I know he won't be, but, you know what, I'll ask him anyway. Is there any soot in his shoes? Just checking. Loosen your belt, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Well, goodbye, sir. Okay, uh, 
I guess the only place I could go is the... Go see Lucy again? She... Oh, maybe, damn, maybe Lucy might know this other person. Okay, let's talk to her. Where? Oh, she's gone. Okay, great. Hold on, let me check out the dialogue again. Uh... Okay, um... Did Maddie have... Uh, no, but she told me that another girl who had been attacked like her had told her that it shot, uh, she sh that this man worked in a coppers one by the old, old Israeli, Israelite. Also, she saw him again last week, the night of the big fire. Cobbler. That this man worked in a cobbler's run. Hmm. What, uh, okay, where are the. I don't know where the cobblers are in this city, so. Commercial. Uh uh, you know what? Let's head back to home, I guess. Oh, wait, could I go back home? <laughs> Will it let me? Map of, oh, map of London. Here we go. Watch out. Oh, we can. Okay, let's go back home for a moment. I have no reason to go that way. Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the, it's back to, not to the clinic again, right? The brothel, I'm up there, there's these lodgings, I'm here right now, and I'll be here. Oh, the boarding house. Here we go. What do you want, Doctor? No, I still haven't found out about Thank that. Thank you, Finley. At your service, sir. Oh, you know what? I still haven't asked anybody about this, um... This thing, this bottle, I'm wondering if, okay, you know what, I still didn't, uh, let's, okay, let's have back to the police station for a moment, just to check, hello, some news, doctor, uh, well, really not. goodbye, <laughs> Okay. Let me see here. I'm missing something back at the bottle. I'm, I'm, I'm betting. It's got to be. Yeah, well, the brother, the Lucy's, I know Lucy's house and the, the boarding house are no good. What if I talk to somebody? Well, if you have the means, I can let you pass before everyone, but behind me. <laughs> let's, let's head back to the brothel for a moment, because that's pretty much it. It's got that of that clinic. And the guy at the clinic just already talked to us. Let's narrow it down. if this guy knows anything about this bottle. What can I do for you, my dear colleague? Goodbye, oh, yeah, Dr. Okay. Gibbons. Until we meet... Um... Last shards. Documents, notes. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, the only place really is the... Okay, the only place to go is... The Bravo, really. I mean, that's, that's it. Let me make sure I have the bottle here. Oh, you know what? Oh, maybe one of these girls. No, it would be better not to insist. You're in a rush, my pretty. Come, I'll have you done so quickly you'll only have time to pay. Okay, not very helpful. Alright, let's go check out the bottle for a moment again. What about you, Out of the way, I don't like the look of you. Well, yeah.
I'm looking for those footprints. All right, let's talk and see if anybody knows anything about this bottle. Let's get out of here. Yes, sir. Anything about this Until bottle? Until next time. Yeah. With pleasure. Now wait a second. Hold on. Do I? Yes, sir. Now wait a minute. Do I? Do I? Until do I next actually time. With pleasure. Give the person the item, or do I? Can I just? Yeah, do I have to literally move it and then touch yes, the person sir. or until next time, miss? With I actually, do, I mean, I literally don't even remember, but I don't think so. Hmm. Let's see if there's footprints. They're talking about a black footprint, right? Let's see if I can find a black footprint outside. Maybe I can follow it. Hmm. This policeman. Tell me, is it you should return home, sir? Well, yeah. okay. Well, thank you. That wasn't helpful. So, what's going on over here? Well, you can press the uh, space bar. <laughs> yes. You can press the space bar. Oh, it's just showing Commercial Street. Well, I guess that's it. Oh, wow, really? Oh, there's a lot of things going on here. What's this about? Okay. Commercial oh. Street. Okay, well, no Commercial Street. I'm assuming Commercial Street is where the cobbler is, so... But what do we have here? Batty Street. Is there a... Obviously, I left this one before. This is Commercial Street. This is J. H. Fisher Umbrellas. What is that about? This is Burner Street. Burner Street. Okay. And it's Commercial Street again. Oh, it's the police station. Okay. Still Commercial Street. This is the end of Commercial Street. Okay. Gotcha. I have no reason to go that way. Oh, okay. Hmm. Commercial Street. Just looking at all these so that I don't keep showing up. Okay. Maybe, um, it's gotta be down in these alleys. And then I have to look, oh, it's the boarding house. Okay. You do have to be pretty close though for the, for the signs to show up. Oh, I mean, you have to be within view here. Okay, what's this about? Burner Burn Street. Okay, Burner Street. What's the, okay. There's three things here. We still have Burner, Burner Street. Street. As well, of course. This is the International Working Men's Club. Burner Street. Apparently. And this is. More Burner Street. Burner Street. Okay. Uh, that's a wasp nest. Looks like a bar. A 
assuming these aren't cobblers. Yeah, and these are open, are they? Oh yeah, this is Batty Street. Batty Street. What a name, huh? Batty Street. Batty Street. I don't like the look of Batty Street. Batty Street doesn't look really good. <laughs> Batty Street. Is this where what's her name lives? Batty Street. Okay. Batty Street. Yes. So now I got two things here that are open. Commercial Focus. Street. I think it's just more commercial street stuff. Commercial street. Let's talk to this guy. I have nothing to ask. Oh, okay. Nothing to ask him. Huh? Oh, what about these people? How about this woman? Any of these people here? No, it would be better not to insist. Uh, let's see. I'm assuming I'm looking for the cobbler's place, but I'm not sure where it is. Maybe down here? Or is that to this girl? I am listening, me lord. Okay. What's this about? Could I go in here at all? Or... No, apparently not. Okay. <laughs> they want me in. The church. Well, Whitechapel White Street. Street. What about you, buddy? I have nothing to ask. So this is the. Oh, there's the clinic, right? No, this is the problem. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy walking. Wow. He's off it. Well, no, okay, let me go back in the brothel here. That I must be missing something. Oh, this is the clinic. Well, let me head back towards the brothel and see what I could find. Okay. Thought I could ask about that glass. Glass shards. I, I thought I could at least bring it to um, General of the Dutch. I thought I could at least bring it to Sherlock Holmes and have him look at them. But they won't let me. Uh, let's. Uh, okay. I'm going to head back towards the bottle and then I'm going to end it there. This is getting on uh, past my time. Why is it? Here it is. Am I missing an entire place? Just in case. It's the brothel, the clinic, police station, boarding house, Lucy's lodgings. There's nothing there in Lucy's lodgings, huh? Where's, where's Lucy? Can I talk to her or what? Where is she? He's not here, huh? Have I seen Lucy? Where was she? Where was... Can I see Lucy around? Can you see Lucy around? No, it would be better not to insist. Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Alright, let me head back towards the bottle. And... 
No, it would be better not to insist. No, man. it would be better not to insist. Either way, what difference does it make? Well, it makes a lot of difference. If you, you have the kill. means, I... Well, yeah. What's this guy doing? Tell me, is it... What are you looking for? Chicks, opium, a girl, mm. sailor? What's this woman singing? I have nothing to ask. Okay, I was assuming it was somewhere near the place here, but... Cobbler. It's not a map, is it? Map of London, there's a cobbler in I there. have no reason to go that way. I can't go back there. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, we're going to have to figure out what's going on here. I don't know how to get to the cobbler. So, but uh, it, it, seems, it seems pretty obvious to me that I either, one of two things, I either missed. Out of the way, I don't like the look of you. Or. Out of the way, I don't like the look of you. I either missed something in the brothel. Oh, wait a second, what is that? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, the gate. Oh, I thought there's, I thought this was the gate. I was like, hey, how come there's two gates? Wait, is there something in here? Come on. Okay, now. Okay, so I either missed something in the bottle or... You know, assuming I missed it. There must be a clue somewhere here that I missed. Or... Oh, okay, let's look at this. Oh, I forgot, I could use the space bar. Okay, I guess let me look at all the paintings these here. These paintings are. Okay. These paintings are. Maybe one of them says something like. These paintings are. He's very afraid of those paintings. <laughs> There's one more painting over here. These paintings are. Okay. Only one more painting, and that's it. These paintings are. Otherwise, I can't go in the doors. They won't say anything to me. I looked at the footprint on the floor. Black footprint. And there are no more other footprints, so. There's nothing else here. Okay, all right. Well, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here. I'll take a look. Uh, I'll look it up actually, because there must be something I'm missing. I'm not sure. I don't know where the cobbler is. And honestly, I don't feel like looking around for it. So, uh, thank you for joining me, um, Bunny says, and uh, we'll find out where the cobbler is next time. Oh, uh, the cobbler's place. So, all right. Uh, goodbye for now, and thank you for joining me.